Let us remember that the heart of Jesus has called us not only for our own sanctification, but also that of other souls. He wants to be helped in the salvation of souls. Welcome one and all to uh, Padre Pio TV for this weekend. Another piece from Have a Good Day from Padre Pio. Words of wisdom, words of encouragement from the little booklet. Uh, we bring it to you in different languages. Um, do know that it is also available in different languages across this uh, platform. But let us remember that the heart of Jesus has called us not only for our own sanctification, but also that of other souls. He wants to be helped in the salvation of souls. Well, the heart is a key word there, heart of Jesus and sanctification. You know, it's the month of the Sacred Heart. We have left the month of Mary, the month of May, and uh, what better backdrop for the month of June than to journey through May with Mary. Then she brings us to her son, Jesus, and we enter the month of the Sacred Heart um, with this lovely message from Padre Pio. Um, we are called by Christ to walk together. We are called by Christ to love one another. We are called by Christ, as he says, make your home in me as I make mine in you. But we're not DIY people. We can't go it alone. There are, of course, moments when we do encounter Christ in the stillness and in the silence, when we need to perhaps be alone with Jesus, when we need to come away and rest a while to stand apart in prayer. But that fuels our Christian charity and our love to walk with others, to reach out to others, to be together and to evangelize one another. That's why, you know, the heart of Jesus has called us not only for our own sanctification, but also that of other souls. We are called to evangelize one another, to sanctify one another by our example, not just by what we say. Yeah, words of encouragement are very important, but actions, actions speak louder than words. Actions are also critical in how we love one another. When the priest at the end of Mass says, go in peace, glorifying the Lord, what? By your lives, by your lives. And the song, we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We pray that our unity may one day be restored. And here's the key bit. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, we'll know we are Christians by our love. <laughs> didn't think I'd be able to do that because I'm a bit hoarse, a little bit, little bit gravelly today. Um, yeah, but they'll know we are Christians by our love. Example. Other people will see how we live our lives and maybe they'll be inspired by that. Um, James S. Stewart, the philosopher from some time ago, said men on fire are invincible. Now, people, men and women, the human person on fire is invincible. The stronghold of Satan is proof against everything but fire. When we're enthusiastic, we can accomplish anything in the Lord's name. We can inspire people. We can encourage and include people the heart of jesus christ is something that will encourage us inspire us sanctify us but we are called within that to love one another that's how he wants to be helped in the salvation of souls let us remember padre pio says that the heart of jesus has called us not only for our own sanctification, but also that of other souls. Our own sanctification, yeah, but also that of other souls. He wants to be helped in the salvation of souls. 
gospel there the other day was the story of the um the great commandment lord what must i do to inherit eternal life you know the commandments you must love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind with all your strength and then you must love your neighbor as yourself you know it's how we love our neighbor as ourselves that we prove that we love god <coughs> excuse me that's what i was saying that the throat is a bit froggy this morning i still don't know how i sang that <laughs> yeah um loving god loving our neighbor that's i think the kernel of what we are at when padre pio reminds us about you know not only our own sanctification but also the sanctification of other souls it's a it's a vocational thing it's a it's a it's a it's a a labor of love it's a journey it's very important a example is something that helps others and not just again by words but also again by what people see what how people learn i mean when young, young, young children learn you know as they grow up about life by watching by watching the grown-ups i learned I, I learned how to walk obviously it was all children learn how to walk put putting the kids against the, the the wall or against the table and come on come on come on and the child takes his first furtive steps inevitably the child falls but they get up and they try again and that and and uh, of course we used to have pictures of us taking our first steps now it's all on glorious um film you know and also it goes on to social media but we learned because we watched we learned because we watched we learned because we were given example so if we look at christ the lord of all life if we learn from him and how he loved one another and how he ate with the tax collectors and sinners in the in, in the scriptures um that's how we uh are called not only for our own sanctification but for the sanctification of other souls let us let us give good example let us help christ by our actions to love one another let us be beacons of hope let us let us be able to show the face of christ by our good lives in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen <laughs>